I'm always troubled by the fact that our country just does not uh, we contradict ourselves. We tell people to have elections and then when we don't like the winner of the election, we oppose the election and the election results. The Venezuelan people are smart enough and prepared enough to deal with the issue of whether the election was fair or not. Let them deal with that. We should not be making statements in the White House saying the election, there has to be a recount. I mean, Venezuela didn't ask for a recount in Florida when Bush and Gore were going at it, and we know what happened there. So I'm always one for letting people work things out. But it's related to immigration, too. I have a theory, which is, if you don't want people coming to this country, and I don't have a problem with that, don't advertise. So you tell them how bad their countries are, how bad their elections are, and then if something breaks, where do you think they're going to come? They're going to come here, and then you wonder, why are they here? Well, stop meddling, you know, stop advertising that you're going to meddle in their affairs. They had an election. Let them work it out. We didn't recognize the other six, seven, eight, nine elections that Hugo Chavez had that he won and the world accepted. Now we don't accept this one. I don't think we're happy until the candidate we want to win wins the election. So, will you continue to get oil from Venezuela, just like your former Congress member, your colleague, um, Congress member Joe Kennedy in Massachusetts, has um, uh, made use of this oil to help poor people? What happened was that we invited uh, Hugo Chavez to the Bronx, and he spoke to a lot of folks, and he was talking to them about and he said, look, I, I have something I can offer you. I'm not, you know, the wealthiest country in the world, but I have home eating oil that we don't use in Venezuela. We'll sell it to you at cost, with the understanding, very interesting, when we signed the documents, that any money saved by, say, the XYZ Housing Corporation from last year's heating bill had to be used, those savings, to reinvest in, you know, boiler repairs, rent reductions. There were a couple of years there where folks in my district were getting, like, $25, dollars $70 rent reduction during the winter months based on this. Now, the government was upset, our government, because we were getting foreign aid from another country. We're used to sending foreign aid. So I'm hoping that the Maduro government or the Carillas government, I, I don't care which government it is, continues to do this. And I want to be clear about that. I'm not for what the results should be. I'm just for letting the people in Venezuela decide who their leader is.